Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. to keep that lovely neck of yours in one piece. Hmm? And you, keep your distance. No need for this to get messy. I need her alive. Stow that blade or I'll show you just how messy things can get. Ah, promises, promises. But I have other business, I'm afraid. Now, I saw you on the ship. Didn't I? Nod. <laughs> you wriggling little... Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? I saw into your mind. They took you. Just the same as me. And to think. I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. I'm out of wine and flowers, so I hope an introduction will suffice. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So... Do you know anything about these worms? Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. Nod. <clears throat> You wretched little... Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? I'm not an idiot. It has to be those tentacled monsters. Something they did. They took you too. I saw it during... whatever just happened. And to think... I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. Wait, th that's it. 
You're doomed, sorry, and then off to the next adventure. These worms are doing something. I can feel it. What are you going to do about it? I need to find out more before I let anyone root around in my skull. I'll find an expert. Good luck, I suppose. Here's hoping we're still wearing the same skins when we next meet. There. Can you see it? Just a dumb boar. You're relieved until you see the flash of a dagger. You can try, but first you'll tell me what you know. I saw you on the ship. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacle... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? The worm. Of course. That explains things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Indeed we are. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. My, my. You've been busy. So, did you learn anything about these worms while wandering the ship? I suppose it's not exactly common knowledge. These worms are already affecting me. I can feel it. Now, what to do about it? Your magician seems dour tonight. Must not relish the idea of sprouting tentacles. Understandable. Can't say I'm a fan either. It's just hard to join in when all of this feels so new. The night normally means bustling streets, bursting taverns. Curling up in the dirt and resting is, um, a little novel. I'm in no place to rest yet. Today has been a lot. I need some time to think things through. To process this. You sleep. I'll keep watch. The pleasure is all mine. Sweet dreams. getting a lecture from our magical friend. I have to say, I thought you'd look worse, but no. Not a tentacle to be seen. Indeed you could. We're all doing surprisingly well, given the circumstances. I'm not taking anything for granted, of course. First sign of change, and I'll have to stop that pretty little heart of yours. I am open to suggestions. Knives, poison, strangulation, whatever you'd prefer. I don't think poison is for me. Nor stabbing, come to think of it. I always felt decapitation was a fine choice. One good swing and then nothing. <laughs> but we were talking about you. What'll it be? A fine choice. I can think of some nightshades that are deliciously fatal. If they're mixed well, you'll just close your eyes and drift away. <laughs> and if they're not, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is all a worst-case scenario, obviously. 
If the last day has taught me anything, it's that the impossible is more likely than you think. Now, let's get some rest. The sooner we start tomorrow, the better our chances of keeping this hypothetical to sight. The stars, I mean. I could take or leave your chin. I am. I've been thinking, reflecting on what tomorrow might bring when we arrive at this gith crash. Will we find out how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? Good. I don't want you to run off just yet. You're quite the ally after all. Traversing Avernus, surviving the crash, surviving everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. Yes, we're more similar than I thought. Hmm? Oh, um, I was leagues away. I just need to get some air, clear my head. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. I can see the stars from Baldur's Gate, of course but not with such clarity. It got me thinking, reflecting on what tomorrow might bring when we arrive at this gith crash. <laughs> Why not? You've been to the hells and back, survived the crash, survived everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. <laughs> A delicious thought, but... The right moment. I'm sorry. I... I need to clear my head. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. No. Just thinking. Aren't you just? Uh, was I? I just... I just need to get some air. Clear my head. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. You... Have your charms more than you think. Oh, you're no fun. Sleep tight, I'll see you later. I'm sure, more than you think. <laughs> A delicious thought, but... Yes, of course. Me too. I think I'll just... just clear my head. There's a touch too composed, a bit too perfect. He may not mean a word he says. Oh, you're no fun. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. Who cares about some pig? It's dead. The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. seems to be fresh 
only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. And is it dead enough for you? It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now please, let's go. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong, or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like, I swear. I, I wasn't going to hurt you, I, I just needed, well, blood there in the dim firelight you see him for what he really is a vampire a slave to sanguine hunger it's not what you think i'm not some monster i feed on animals boars deer kobolds whatever i can get i'm just too slow right now. Too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please, only be a taste. I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine, and everything can go back to normal. Ah, of course. I shall be gentle as a babe. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? of ice into your neck, a quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. was amazing. My mind is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. Ah! <sighs> 
Ah, uh, of course. I was just swept up in the moment. Hmm. But it worked. I feel good. Strong. Happy. But I didn't. And that's what matters. And look what you've gained. Together, we can take on the world. Good morning. How do you feel? It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn. Like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Oh no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. So we're traveling with a vampire, are we? Of course we are. Word of warning, Astarian. I taste absolutely awful. A vampire among us? So be it. But should I wake with so much as a drop of blood on my neck, I will end him. I'd just better not wake in the night to find fangs at my throat. She's not wrong. We're bound together, no matter what comes. Maybe we could get him to wear a bell, dissuade any nighttime prowling. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Oh, I've no idea. For 200 years, the sun would have turned me to cinders. Until the crash, when I woke up bathed in its light. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, Wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. <laughs> You're such a sweetheart. Quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. You say all the right words, but I'm not so sure you mean the right things. Still, I will respect the decision that was made. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals. Boars. Deer. Kobolds. Whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so... weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. I... What's this? What's happening? Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. His mind opens up, revealing cracked and quivering memories. At their heart, you see dark eyes commanding you to feed. 
You open your mouth and bite down, not into a tender neck, but into the twisting body of a rat, the only thing your master lets you eat. I... Yes. Yes, I ate whatever disgusting vermin my master picked. So you can see why I'm slow to trust you. But I do trust you. And you can trust me. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? I only need a taste. I swear. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. You lean into him, losing yourself. You can feel your blood racing, coursing through both your bodies. A gentle, numb feeling starts to spread. You feel a little cold, but that's all. There's no more pain, no more fear, no more struggle. It's all over. Something terrible's happened. You're here. Thank goodness. I was worried about you. You looked a little ill last night, but you've certainly recovered. God damn it! I understand you're upset, but let's not get carried away. Uh, killed feels like a strong word. Not many corpses have your vigor. <laughs> now I admit I got carried away last night. I apologize. But look at you now, perfectly healthy. So let's not fall out over this. We still need each other, after all. A strong, well-fed vampire? I'm a powerful weapon. You'd be a fool to toss me aside now. Anyway, last night was an aberration. It will never happen again. What do you say? Can we let bygones be bygones? No innocence. You have my word. Only villains that we need to kill anyway. After all, you know what I am now. I can fight with all my weapons. Teeth included. And if I happen to drain the occasional bandit during a fight, what's the harm? They're just as dead. Excellent. Now, shall we go? I'm already feeling a little peckish. A strong enemy. What do you say? Can we let bygones be bygone? Leave? <laughs> you can't be serious. Think of what you're losing. Now that I'm well fed, I'm more capable than ever. How benevolent of you. Now, was there anything else? Oh, fine by me. So what would you like to talk about? What? Oh, you're joking. Although, what do you consider an animal? I mean, elves and humans are obviously out, but the goblins, kobolds, 
Gnomes? <laughs> In that case, I'll restrict myself to animals and only the dullest goblins. Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now, I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power-hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Trust me, it doesn't happen. I've already apologized. What more do you want? Unless you're looking for another nibble. No innocence. You have my word. Only villains that we need to kill anyway. After all, you know what I am now. I can fight with all my weapons. Teeth included. And if I happen to drain the occasional bandit during a fight, what's the harm? They're just as dead. That sounds eminently reasonable. I shall wait patiently until you suggest we dine together. But until then, no more late night surprises. You have my word on that. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. Why, she sounds positively demented. I love it. Let's tell her everything. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? My work can grant peace and serenity. The likes of which few experience, it will be worth it. I promise. I wouldn't let his skilled hand anywhere near me. Oh, I have something exquisite in mind. Both Loviatar and I are interested in how you handle pain, dear one. And should you delight her, you will most assuredly receive her most gracious blessing. Trust me. Simply face the wall, and we can begin. Face the wall and let us begin, dear one. The pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. <laughs> you want more? As you wish, dear one. Would you have joined up with her if you'd known she'd be indulging in this sort of thing, Astarian? I mean, I had my hopes. <laughs> Aha! 
<laughs> wonderful. Just wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. You want more? I'll give it to you. My, my. Who knew our friend had so much blood in them? Try not to lick your lips as you say that. <clears throat> That's it! Welcome the pain! Let it become part of you. <laughs> I hope that's a promise, dear one. <laughs> Sweet child, you bore the pain like a true believer. I am proud to have served you this penance. You're starting to sound like the goddess herself, dear one. Loviata herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. And on a personal note, that was positively divine. Didn't he call himself a master? Would have thought he'd be more creative. That. Grush, I need to see that again. To see today. Ask him if you can do the penance thing too. Friend. <laughs> I have drunk. Not alcohol, of course. A bear. He took a little of my blood. I took all of his. You're comparing plonk to vintage wine. You can make merry with either, but they're not the same. But Casador fed me rats and bugs. And when you're used to drinking from a sewer, even plonk is a marked improvement. I existed. That was enough for him. He reveled in having power over me. Because those with power can do whatever the hell they want. Well, yes. You can't look at the world and tell me I'm wrong. Let them. Heroes are half the damn problem. Fools that believe in right and wrong, good and evil. Heroes didn't save me from Cazador. Mind flayers did. They gave me a gift. The strength to take my own freedom. I'm embracing this power. You should too. There you are. My friend. <laughs> Are you now? <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep, darling. <laughs> Thankfully, I've had my needs met this evening. I found a bear. He took a little of my blood. I took all of his. <laughs> Indeed they are. Now that I can walk in the sun... <laughs> well... That opens all manner of doors. It could open some coffins, too. <laughs> no, these tadpoles are a gift I intend to use to the fullest. You should do the same. Exactly. I can be better than him. Stronger. More powerful. More... Oh, you meant be kinder. Pet bunnies, that sort of thing. 
I've no objection to being nice, of course, once I have the power to bend others to my will. <laughs> is it? What good is freedom if I'm always watching the shadows? No. I'll be safe when I'm powerful enough to grind Kazador into the dust. Powerful enough to do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> They're doing a piss poor job then. The strong had two centuries to pluck me from torture. But no one came. No. It was the Mind Flayers that rescued me. They gave me a gift. The strength to take my own freedom. I'm embracing this power. You should too. Ah, stranger. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. An old hunter's trick. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. You're a monster hunter. I'm surprised. I thought all girl were vagrant cutthroats. And more. We steal chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters, the list goes on. I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. True. And I have no proof to offer but my word. If you wish it, our paths need not cross again. I'm hunting a vampire spawn. And it's a little too bright for you to be my prey. His name is Astarian. But I fear he's gone to ground. I hope the hag of these lands can help me flush him out. If I can afford her blood price. Not this time. My orders are to capture him. Oh. Uh, and bring him where, exactly? Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. I don't know. I'm sure a vampire spawn could still rip out your throat if he felt like it. He is right, unfortunately. They are only weak when compared to their masters. During the day, we have the advantage. But at night, when they hunt, you'll not find a more deadly quarry. We've all survived so far. Let's focus on that. It would still be wise to post guards at night. The threat is real. Indeed it is. We should do something about this threat. Wait, that's it. We're just walking away. Fine. But if this comes back to bite us, it's on your head. Go in peace, my friends. I pray our paths cross again. They better bloody not. A mystical and dangerous people. We travel the land, never settling in one place. We steal your chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters. Your friend here has heard it all, I'm sure. Now, I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Something terrifying, no doubt. Dragon? Cyclops? Kobold? Nothing so dramatic. I'm hunting for a vampire spawn. His name is Astarian, but I fear he's gone to ground. I hope the hag of these lands can help me flush him out, if I can afford her blood price. Thank you. Treating with a hag. I need all the luck I can get. May your road be kind. Your friend has just heard the rumors of my people. That we steal chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters. I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. What? What? It isn't possible. You idiot! What have you done? You treacherous little worm. A just choice. I thank you for your help. 
My people work to rid this world of evil. You are a friend to our cause. I'll return him to my tribe, as ordered. Whatever fate awaits him there, I'm sure it is deserved. I have a cage ready nearby. It will hold him when he wakes. I would have made a deal with the hag to find this. I'm very glad that I did not. Thank you, and safe travels. You should listen to your companion. Next, he'll warn you that my people can curse your cow to give only sour milk and will seduce your daughter to a life of roaming. Now, I would... That's a Starian. No. Impossible. These days, I'm making the impossible look easy. May I? Excellent. The vampire? It can't be. There? I'm afraid you're wrong. There you are. I was just thinking about you. And that delicious moment we shared the other night. The very same. I've had this condition for two centuries, but truth be told, <clears throat> you are my first. In all these years, I've only ever fed on beasts. Drinking the blood of thinking creatures is a different thing entirely. You were delectable. And now I can't help but wonder how the others taste. Don't worry. There's enough of me to go around. I'm a man of tremendous appetites. I don't think they'd volunteer, of course. But it doesn't make me any less curious. Take Gale, for example. He strikes me as someone whose blood is rich, refined like well-aged brandy. But the Gith? What in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. Oh. Well, that sounds very appealing. I'm almost convinced. <sighs> Absolutely. A mere thought experiment. So, in the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? Oh, <laughs> I'm flattered. Who knew you had such taste? Unfortunately, all this talk is getting me hungry. I better find something I can actually sink my teeth into. Uh, there's nothing that tasty lurking out in the woods, but I'll make do. Sweet dreams. I suppose you want to hear about Casador. I don't want to say a damned thing, but that won't do anyone any good. Casador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate, the patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. Not political power or military power, I mean power over people the power to control them completely. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn, and he became my tormentor. A vampire's spawn is less than a slave. They're a puppet. We have no choice but to obey our master's commands. They speak, and our bodies react. It's all part of the deal. Sometimes he'd order us to submit to torture. 
Sometimes he'd have us torture ourselves. Whatever his weather vane mood settled on. Thank you. But this isn't about sympathy. It's about knowing what we might be up against. The Mind Flayers aren't the only monsters out there, and they might not be the only ones hunting us. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open and watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. What more could I ask? Now, is that all? I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Cazador has control of me, body and soul, and I return to the shadows. It's grim either way, so why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Cazador. Figuring out what's happening to us, confronting a god called the Absolute, and then finding time to kill my old master before he can control me once more? Yes, that's an option, but I wouldn't bet eternity on it. My old master. Before the Mind Flayers took me from him. Before this strange, twisted freedom. Casador Zar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate, the patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. Not political power or military power, I mean power over people. The power to control them completely. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn, and he became my tormentor. Not him, no. A gang of thugs attacked me, angry about a ruling that I'd handed down as magistrate. They beat me to death's door when Cazador appeared. He chased them off and offered to save me, to give me eternal life. Given that my choices were eternal life or bleed to death on the street, I took him up on the offer. It was only afterwards I realized just how long Eternity could be. He had me go out into Baldur's Gate to fetch him the most beautiful souls I could find. It was a fun little ritual of his. I'd bring them back and he'd ask if I wanted to dine with him. And if I said yes, he'd serve me a dead, putrid rat. Of course, if I said no, he'd have me flayed. Hard to say which was worse. I will, but I won't take it for granted. The Mind Flayers aren't the only monsters out there, and they might not be the only ones hunting us. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open and watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. What more could I ask? Now, is that all? I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a... Who's the tadpole? Cazador has control of me, body and soul. And I return to the shadows. It's grim either way. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Cazador. I'm glad to hear it. Whatever's coming, we need to keep our options open. He had me go out into Baldur's Gate to fetch him the most beautiful souls I could find. You're familiar with the phrase, better the devil you know. I know, Cazador. And I'll take anything that saves me from that. I'm looking too, but not seeing very much. Another quirk of my affliction. 
preening in the looking glass. Petty vanity. Of course I miss it. I've never even seen this face. Not since it grew fangs and my eyes turned red. Is it? What do you see when you look at me? Oh, go on. The, oh, this is meant to be flattery, not poetry. Just tell me I'm beautiful and we can call it a day. Hardly. There's also gold, sex, revenge. Quite the list, really. But failing any of those, I will always settle for shallow praise. I... I don't know. I can't remember. My face is just some dark shape in my past. Another thing I've lost. And what do you see, exactly? Excuse me, I'm an eternal vampire, not your doting grandmother. You can do better. What else? Very good. Now just tell me I'm beautiful and we can call it a day. Observant. Mirrors aren't much use, but being reflected in someone else's eyes? Well, I could do worse. The only benefit to a mirror when you have my condition. It doesn't quite make up for the lack of a reflection, mind you. It's an indulgence, I'll grant you, but a weakness. A well-presented face can open a lot of doors. Not that I've seen this face. Not since it grew fangs and its eyes turned red. Aging? What do you mean, aging? I'm a vampire, forever young. Really? Anything in particular? My... What? But, but I don't... <clears throat> Excuse me. To you, maybe. To me, it's just another thing Cazador took. I've never even seen this face. Not since it grew fangs and my eyes turned red. Aging? What do you mean, aging? I'm a vampire, forever young. What are you talking about? My skin isn't... Is it? <clears throat> Excuse me. Is it? What do you see when you look at me? How dare you? I thought we had something special. Still, you're nice too. I better get some beauty sleep. It seems I need it if I'm to catch up with the competition. I pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here, I hate it. This is awful. We killed some goblins to save some tieflings. The tally of lives didn't change much. But what do I get for all my hard work? A pat on the head and vinegar for wine. Pfft. 
It's a heavy, rich red. Dry and sharp. See what I mean? Awful. All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? By the hells. Sex, my dear. A night of passion. Let's wait until things quieten down. Once the others are asleep, we'll find each other. Indeed you will, my love. Indeed you will. <laughs> Nothing so dramatic. Just you and me and, well, maybe a little death, figuratively speaking. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. I saw you with a starion. You two looked cozy. Far be it from me to judge. Blood must still be running a little hot after everything. Quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? There you are. I've been waiting. Waiting since the moment I set eyes on you. Waiting to have you. Don't I? You're here. And I don't think you want to talk. I think you want to be known, to be tasted. What do any of us want? Pleasure. Yours. Mine. Our collective ecstasy. That's what you want, isn't it? To lose yourself in me. I thought so. Then let's have some fun. Sleep light. I thought you'd be exhausted after last night. I was holding back a little, it's true. I didn't want to lose control. Delicious as you were, I didn't want to go too far. Now, shall we get on? I want to go before anyone else thanks me for saving their tales. It's a poem. A gift from Cazador. He considered himself quite the artist and used his slaves as a canvas. He composed and carved that one over the course of a night. He made a lot of revisions as he went. You recall the sharp, complex lines of the script. It was written in the language of the Hells. Infernal? I... Who knows? The bastard was insane. Anyway, enough pillow talk. Let's go before the tieflings drag us into another mess.
in the sweet hells were you thinking? Activating that lance, I was right there! Gods! Do you have any idea how much that hurt? Next time. No, no, no. If there is a next time, I'll be the one aiming the all-powerful weapon. Thank you. <sighs> Although, I do appreciate you trying to fix your mistake. Just don't do it again. Now, shall we go? Or do you have any other chaos you need to unleash here? <laughs> God. All right. What's on your mind? Excuse me. That was the least you could do after dropping a building on me. Next time, just warn me before you do something stupid. At least then I can get out of the blast radius. Well, apparently there's a limit. Somewhere between a nice summer's day and the full concentrated power of the sun! Next time, just warn me before you do something stupid. And I think I was safer with the Mind Flayers. And a line with a fork and one, two, three dots. <clears throat> Bloody inferno. How was anyone meant to read this garbage? <laughs> there you are. <laughs> I admit, I got curious. I've been tracing the scars on my back with my fingers, trying to read them by touch. But I can't. They may as well be written in Rashimi. That had better be a joke. I can't read it with a mirror, and it seems I can't read it with my hands either. So, I was... Wondering if maybe, perhaps, you might be able to, uh... Can you read what's on my damn back? Please. Thank you. The jagged script is definitely infernal. The language of the hells. But you can't make out its meaning. And? What can you see? Ha-ha, tell me what it says. What in the hells? What did he do to me? No. No, let's keep this between ourselves. At least until we know what it means. Two centuries carrying this. And I can finally see it. I'm sure. But what will it say? Th thank you, by the way. This is... Well, it's something. Given the subject matter, I probably won't. What are you doing? I... Well, if you must know, I've been trying to make out the scars on my back. I can't see them, so I've been trying to feel my way about. They may as well be written in Rashimi. I... This isn't your problem, you know. Fine. I have absolutely no idea. But it's no poem. Two centuries carrying this. And I can finally see it. No. I could have missed it, of course, but I doubt it. A Cazador was only figuratively hellish. There were never any devils hanging about the crypt. Whatever he's left carved in my flesh, it's a mystery to me. Th thank you. 
by the way. This is, well, it's something. Will we? How sweet. That had better be a joke. I can't read it with a mirror, and it seems I can't read it with my hands either. No, wait. Here. If it's a poem at all. Two centuries carrying this, and I can finally see it. None at all. A Casador was only figuratively hellish. There were never any devils hanging about the crypt. Whatever he's left carved in my flesh, it's a mystery to me. Th thank you, by the way. This is... well, it's something. Hell's forbid. You recognize the feathered creature. It's the owlbear cup you rescued. The cub tilts his head. He does not trust you. Yet. He steps closer, hesitantly. What a delectable little pet. Alarmed by your companion's approach, the cub turns heel and runs. Oh, now look. You've scared off the little snack. Here's my little treat with their cheeks all flushed. You will come to my bed tonight, won't you? I'm amazed you managed to keep your mind clear enough to fight. <laughs> I've been thinking about our last night together ceaselessly. I'll be in quite a spot of mortal peril if you let me keep distracting myself dreaming instead of doing. We can't have that, can we? It would be... Very dangerous. I'll be waiting. Ah, you need a bit of enticing. Let me see. Hmm. How about this one? When I'm with you, I feel practically alive. Yet I crave only to die again. With you. Not half as sweet as when I tasted you. Hmm. Let me give it another go. Every part of your perfect body whispers temptation. It's as if the gods made you just to ruin me. Well, they worked on you last time, didn't they? How about if I said these little words? Everyone's favorite. I love you. <laughs> I am. It's hard not to with you. Now, as much as I relish standing around and saying all my favorite lines at you, I'd much rather we got to experience each other's uh, full portfolio of talents once again. I'll be waiting. Oh, I certainly can. It would be my pleasure. Hmm. How about this one? Hmm. Let me give it another go. I look forward to the day. Meanwhile, my hunger for you will only deepen. You would come. <laughs> I have missed you.
And now you're all mine. And I'm all yours. Until morning, at least. Let's see where the night takes us. Connection between us. Like we're two souls walking the same path. You might be a little naive in the ways of the world, but I see promise in you. Ambition. Such a strong word. We have our differences, but we don't have to, do we? I just worry that we're not considering all our options when it comes to our uninvited guests. How many people are infected with them, do you think? Hundreds? Thousands? And they're not just goblin trash. There are powerful people in the worm's thrall. Whoever's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers controls it all. But if we can take that control from them, imagine the power we'd wield. Isn't it? Imagine the entire cult under our thumb. I'm just saying, there's an opportunity before us. If we can control the tap holes, we can keep ourselves safe and enjoy a little world domination on the side. <laughs> you can't tell me that doesn't sound fun. I knew I was right about you. It's so good to find a kindred spirit. Of course, this all assumes we live long enough to find this, uh, moonrise. But I'm feeling optimistic. Uh, just that you have a big heart. You like doing what's right. So I was thinking, what would be the right thing to do when we get to Moonrise Towers? When we come face to face with whoever is controlling the parasites in our heads. That's the obvious option, yes. But consider the alternatives. I mean, I assume there's some device controlling these things, so we find that. Murder some people and, um... Look, I'm not a details person, all right? But turning up and causing chaos has worked for us so far. I'm just saying, there's an opportunity here. If we can control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe and liberate the world from this evil. Do. It's not often the universe hands you something like this. We'd be fools to squander it. Of course, this all assumes we live long enough to find this, uh, moonrise. But I'm feeling optimistic. Sense there's something you want to ask me. I do. I have a... proposal for you. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business. Devil. My old... Well, a long time ago, someone carved infernal ruins into my back. They're a fragment of a contract. I'd like to know what the full contract says. Hmm. Oh, such impatience. It's something very important to your master. But is it a love letter, a warning, or a deed of ownership? I could give you all the gory details. 
But of course, you'll have to do something for me first. Let me think about it. And get back to you. You'll get back to me? This is important, devil. When? Don't worry. I'm motivated to help you. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. I'll see you soon. did miss that face, you know. It's not a plan yet. More a feeling. Just an itch at the back of my mind. But I know I'm missing something. Whatever Casador did to me, it was more than his usual sadism. It had purpose. Once I know what that purpose was, maybe a plan will present itself. But for now, I just need to scratch this itch. <laughs> Casador, Sire at Seven Spawn, me and my six brothers and sisters. He always insisted we were a family, even when he was carving scars into our flesh. I was one of his first. Some of the others came years later. He was a monster to us all. But did take special pleasure in my pain. He said, my screams sounded sweetest. And now that I'm gone, I, I don't know. I pity the other six. Listen here, Pipsqueak. Do not underestimate this opponent. At best, you will have the blink of an eye to strike. Strike first, strike true, defy the odds, for they are distinctly in its favor. That much I owe the bastard to concede. <laughs> and don't think I've forgotten your tale, Astarian. When the beast is dead, I'll consider that payment enough to translate those scars of yours. A fairer deal than I expected. You wound me, Spawn. I always deal fairly. And we'll close this particular deal soon enough. Vanquish the beast and all will be revealed. I'd trust a devil over a vampire any day. I think he likes us. <laughs> Fret not. My soul is quite safe. I am not about to swap one master for another. Even though he's using me, I'm using him too. And what do I care about this Orthon's life? <laughs> the Orthon is nothing. I'll have my satisfaction when Raphael makes good on his word. I'm glad you had your fun, then. I am here to provide an endless array of delights. <laughs> in an old pair of boots, in an abandoned outhouse, in my own bedroll. The devil turns up where it pleases him, but we're bound to run into him soon. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you for helping me. It was very kind. We delivered the devil. Now I want what I'm owed. We had a deal. Indeed we did. I discovered all there is to know about those scars of yours. It's a rather grim tale. <laughs> Even for my tastes. Even if I wanted to walk away from all of this, I can't. Cazador won't let me. And why would he want to walk away? This is his destiny. Carved 
into that ivory skin of yours is one part of an infernal contract between the archdevil Mephistopheles and your former master, Kazador Zar. In full, the contract states that Kazador will be granted knowledge of an infernal ritual so vile it has never been performed. The rite of profane ascension. It promises to be a marvelous ceremony, very elaborate, incredibly ancient, and entirely diabolical. If he completes the rite, he will become a new kind of being, the Vampire Ascendant. All the strengths of his vampiric form will be amplified, and alongside them he will enjoy the luxuries of the living. The arousals and appetites of man will return to him. And unlike Astarian, he will have no need of a parasite to protect him from the sun. But the ritual has its price. As all worthwhile things do, Lord Cazador will need to sacrifice a number of souls, including all of his vampiric spawn, if he is to ascend. Imagine how he felt then, when one of those precious spawns simply disappeared into thin air. The only missing ingredient is a star. You are the final piece he requires to complete the ritual. Your scars bind you to it. Your soul will set off a very wave of death, bringing Kazador his twisted life. And that, my tragic and toothsome friend, is that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have business elsewhere. So simple. Uh, the end of my life amongst them, just when I was starting to enjoy it. He'll never leave me alone. I didn't think he would when I was just one more wretched toy for him to play with. But if I'm the key to this power he craves, he'll hunt me to the ends of Faerun. I need to take the fight to him, and I need you to help me. Thank you. I was contemplating. It's a lot to take in. What do you think I should do? Hmm. The idea definitely has appeal. I could get rid of the worm in my head and still walk in the sun. I'd finally be free of the hunger. And if I'm the key to this deal of Cazador's, perhaps I can turn this to my advantage. I need to take the fight to him. And I need you to help me. If you won't risk taking him on for my sake, Think of the innocent souls he'll sacrifice in this ritual. Thank you. Do you think it's so simple? I hate how right you are. Once we deal with the tadpole, I'll be back to my nocturnal self. When you're being hunted by vampires, the dark is the worst place to hide. I need to deal with Kazador when I still have any kind of advantage over him. It's a lot to take in. <laughs> Wish I could say I was surprised about Kazador's pact. 
where blood, death, and betrayal parade. You can bet your ass a devil is riding Grand Marshal. We're going to keep Astarian safe. On my life, Kazador won't touch him. I can't imagine how Astarian must be feeling. The terms of your own condemnation into your skin. It seems like Kazador used Astarian's flesh not as a canvas, but as a contract. We haven't heard the last of this, I'll wager. Our very own vampires, the missing pawn in his master's deadly game. Now, how about we go and reverse Kazador's fortunes? Before anything else, I need to know where it's happening. Uh, to the public, Kazador is an ordinary noble. A little reclusive, perhaps, but just another of the great and the good of Baldur's Gate. He has a grand palace on the hills of the gate, where he hosts the city's high society. I don't know if he performed the ritual there. It feels too public. He'd risk exposure. I know. Subtle, isn't it? Mephistopheles is one of the Lords of the Nine Hells. Raphael is not going to let any ire be tracked back to him. Perhaps Raphael even will gain from setting us on this course, who can say? All I know is I need to unravel the secrets around Cazador's ritual. And I can only do that in Baldur's Gate. To where? For how long? If this worm shrivels, I'll be in his power from the second he lays eyes on me. He has to die, while my body is still my own to command. I hope so, because I am not striking another deal with Raphael. Who knows what he demand this time? But if the citizens of Baldur's Gate don't know anything, my brothers and sisters might. Cazador is a master of secrets, but the other spawn must have seen something. The thing that will decide my fate forevermore. Yes, it's been on my mind. Why? Well, in theory, it's simple. Destroy Casador, stop ritual. That's assuming <laughs> we want to stop the ritual. What? <laughs> I've obviously thought about it. If I was the one who completed the ritual, I'd have such power. And I could walk in the sun without fear I'd turn into a mind flare. I don't relish it, but my siblings lured thousands of people to their deaths over the years. I doubt Baldur's Gate would miss them. Of course, I don't even know if I could complete the ritual. It may be impossible, but it certainly is tempting. A pity, then, that it's not your decision to make. I hadn't really decided on the specifics. Obviously, we could stop the ritual, or... not. Araj Oblodra. Trader in blood and the sanguineous arts. It is a pleasure to stand before a true soul and your pale companion. I'd like to offer my services, if you're willing. <laughs> Please. You think someone in my line of work wouldn't recognize a vampire spawn when they see one? I trade in blood and the potions that can be wrung from it. I'm more than happy to make you one if you'd honor me with your blood. With one drop, I can brew a rather potent potion for you. The rest, I keep for myself. No idea, but it will be unique to you. Your blood essence and the Absolute's blessing intertwined. We can learn exactly what that means together, hmm? Research, naturally. A little experimentation, perhaps. 
I have an innate curiosity for all things sanguine. Just a little prick and it's all over. Close your eyes. There we are. All of your very best traits in a bottle. Use it well. Although perhaps there's one more thing we could discuss. Your friend. He's a vampire, no? Or one of their spawn, at least. Oh, don't worry. We're all friends under the absolute. I won't bite. Oh, I'd prefer if you did. I assume he belongs to you? I'm sure he really believes that. How utterly adorable. Do you have a name, Spawn? Uh, uh, Starian, but, but hold on! Good. Now, Astarian, I've dreamt of being bitten by a vampire since I was a young girl. Uh, I'm sorry, you want to be bitten? To feel your life's blood slipping away. To dance on the edge between life and death. Yes, I want it. I'll even compensate you. A potion of legendary power that forever increases the strength of the one who consumes it. It's not for sale, but it's yours if you bite me. I will have to decline. <laughs> Excuse me? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and you're squandering it. I gave you my answer. Oh, can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? I'm sorry, but could you excuse us a moment? Are you actually asking me to do this? Trading me for some, some, some potion? Because there's something wrong with her blood. I can smell it from here. It's rank. I can't say. It just smells wrong. Unnatural. Drinking it wouldn't kill me. But it would not be pleasant. I don't have all day, true soul. All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's still a no, I'm afraid. How very disappointing. Thank you. I appreciated that. How very disappointing. Fine. I'll do it. Darling, I've had a sudden change of heart. After all, who could resist such a delectable neck? Hold very, very still. Incredible. Oh, hell. Oh. <clears throat> Not your taste. You're fetid, full of corruption. I feel exquisite, though. So here's my part of the bargain. I hope you find it as satisfying as I found this. It was everything I imagined, and then more. I'll be able to put this to good use. I, uh, I want to thank you. For what you said. Whilst I was in front of that vile drow. I spent 200 years using my body to lure pretty things back for my master. What I wanted, how I felt about what I was doing, it never mattered. You could have asked me to do the same. To throw myself at her. What I wanted, be damned. But you didn't. And I'm grateful. Don't look at me like that. 
I'm as surprised as you are. It's just... It would have been so easy to bite her, to just go along with what I was being told to do. A moment of disgust to force myself through, and then I could have carried on just like before. Well, of course. I needed protection. <laughs> People don't trust vampires, perhaps understandably, so I needed to get someone on my side. And seducing you was easy, frankly. <laughs> so imagine how stupid I felt when I started to genuinely feel something for you. Trust me, I was not happy about it. You were a complication I didn't see coming. And yet... Really? Full of surprises, aren't you? Honestly, I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> or what comes next. But I know that this... This is nice. what you said, whilst I was in front of that vile drow. It's a novel concept, I admit, and uh, a little intimidating. <laughs> Why, that uh, almost sounds like a challenge. <laughs> For what you said, whilst I was in front of that vile drow. It's been so long since I've had to make these decisions for myself. I won't lie, it's a uh, taunting prospect. It's easy to judge a situation when you're not in it. I, I tried to pick beautiful people where I could, but there were so many over the years. After a while, you stop caring. The entire reason for my existence was to seduce anything with a pulse. And every instinct I have tells me that nothing's changed. I'm still just a means to an end. You made me see that I never stopped thinking like I was his slave. <sighs> Even in freedom. But I'm more than that. More than a thing to be used. You... You're full of surprises, aren't you? I... <laughs> don't know. It's been so long since I've had to decide what I wanted. You... You're full of surprises, aren't you? I... I would like that. I've held more people than I can count. A, an infinite parade of lovers. <laughs> but a friend? I can't think of a single one. Until you. I, um, I'm, I'm not sure if I should. I don't think I want you to think of me in terms of sex. I don't know if I want anyone to. I suppose it has felt different with you. I suppose if this is what you want, then I shall provide.
It's almost funny. This is all a game to you, isn't it? No matter what I say, it doesn't matter. Not if you get what you want. I didn't know how to say no. But I do now. For as long as I can remember, I've been used by others. Controlled. Puppeted for someone else's pleasure. But not anymore. Whatever we had, whatever, whatever this was, it's over. Uh, thought you would show me the respect of telling me first, but no matter. You can tell me now. Who is it to be? Me or him? I see. Well, I suppose he does have a certain charm about him, if you're into that sort of thing. I'll just put my feelings to one side. I think that's best for everyone. It's certainly the best thing for me. I won't leave. Not unless you want me to, or until fate forces my hand. If your friendship is all we have, then I will be happy to have it. Eventually. Worry not. I carry my regrets wherever I go, and I'm used to their weight. One more will not break my back. Really ended things with Gale? Just to be with me? <laughs> not that there was any doubt I was the obvious choice, but... Well, perhaps there was a smidge of doubt. I do come with my... complications. Oh, I can do interesting. It's everything else that worries me. My point is, you didn't have to choose this. <laughs> well, if you insist on loving and adoring me, I guess I'll just have to allow it. You know, darling, I think... We're going to have a lot of fun together. I realize now, I've never really had anyone. Not really. Nothing that compares to you. We're five seconds into this relationship and I already want to break up with you. Still, if you insist on adoring me, then who am I to stop you? <laughs> well, if you insist on loving and adoring me, I guess I'll just have to allow it. Cause you're beautiful. I'm all pointy ears, my love. I don't know. But isn't it nice not to know? Uh, you're not a victim. Not a target. Not just one night it's better to forget. <laughs> but then... Whatever in the world could you be? How could I say no? Mm. <laughs> I do rather like that, you know. <laughs> there is nothing I'd like more. Oh, you are perfect. Every time. Can't get enough. I'm not surprised. Delicious. Darling, 
I thought you'd never ask. I'll see you tonight. Thou hast now a bosom companion. Take care that thou art not distracted on my quest, seeking the comforts of the flesh. Recall that in time, all becomes dust and bone. Recall that in time, all becomes dust and bone. The gate is closed. As is Casador. Casador and his right of profane ascension. An imperious soiree, attended by devils and spawn alike. A grand ceremony to honor one exalted vampiric master. And elevate him to an unfathomable station. To place him in a position of such esteem. The world will yearn to kneel and offer their necks. Of course I envy him. Why wouldn't I? The problem with what Cazador has done is that he did it to me. If the time comes and I can stay one move ahead of him, I'll take his place before his blood can hit the floor. <laughs> What's a handful of the wretched servants? If they're anything like me when I was enslaved, they're all but begging for death anyway. After 200 years of shit, pure shit! I think I deserve something better. I know you do. It matters to me as well. I want to be able to protect you, too. All I'm saying is, let's be clever about it. If an opportunity arises for me to become a more magnificent bastard than I already am, why turn it down? Let's find out more about the ritual before we waltz into Cazador's front door. If we track down my old comrades, the other spawn, we may discover more and be finely positioned for yours truly to ascend. <laughs> You're too adorable. I'll be fine. I'm sure they'll bring back memories of so many pathetic years. But I'm much stronger now. If we don't find my brethren, they'll find us. Likely with bared fangs. We should get to them first. Then we can make their pretty tongues talk. Unless Casador has changed their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town, seeking prey. I've been thinking the same thing. If the time comes and I can stay one move ahead of him, I'll take his place before his blood can hit the floor. <laughs> Doesn't it sound delightful? For the lucky little vampire on the winning side. All I'm saying is, let's be clever about it. My, my, you sweetheart. Then there isn't a moment to waste. If we will kill him. But there's more to it. Think about it. It sounds like Casador, for all his evils, has gotten further than any of my kind ever have. He's on the verge of a miracle. Let's find out more about the ritual before we waltz into Casador's front door. We're going to Baldur's Gate, the city of one in a million chances, splendor and squalor. <laughs> Anything could happen. We will kill him. But there's more to it. Think about it. It sounds like Casador, for all his evils, has gotten further than any of my kind ever have. He's on the verge of a miracle. This may be a beginning, not an end. I can see myself now. Lord. King. 
Master. We'll be glorious both, you and I. You'll have your day too. If we don't find my brethren, they'll find us. Likely with bared fangs. <laughs> You're wrong. You've clearly never been in a place where you had nothing but shame and fear. So, we owe our lack of tentacles to one of the very creatures that kidnapped us. And now it's offering us power if we're willing to... evolve. We both know what it is capable of, but I'm not touching it. That was before I knew the cost. Before I knew it meant transforming into some grotesque beast. I remember how it hurt when I turned into a vampire. My body writhed and warped while I was utterly helpless. The grip of death owned my heart as it beat its last. I don't want to turn into anything else. I can't do that again. I can't watch my body be taken over. <laughs> I'll happily murder my way to whatever powerful artifacts we can make use of. Point at the back and I'll stab. Just don't ask me to sacrifice my body. It hasn't been mine for so long. Thank you. Hathran Rust. My friend from the Hag Swamp. You join us as we honor our fallen dead. You're a bright light on a dark day. Even you, my erstwhile quarry. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> hello again. Frey, thou disc Durovna. Frey. Vald is a blast. I feel we're intruding. We should leave quickly. Calm yourself. You will not be harmed. Our leader has called off the hunt. She wishes to speak to you. Im orak nete. Krasin netra. So. The impossible spawn walks among us in the blazing sun. We have been looking for you. The last time your friend came to our camp, he stole our children, our future. When I was hunting you, I was to bring you back here, interrogate you, discover how to save our children, and then destroy you. But things have changed. You? have changed. Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that binds you to him? Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, kind of. It's a long story, honestly. Free. Not while his master still lives. But he has, perhaps, earned a second chance. We have tried to save our children once already, attacking Kazadorzar's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. But if his own spawn approached, someone he thought he could control, he would throw his doors open and welcome you in. And once inside, you could do what we could not. You could save the children you damned. You don't know Kazador like I do. He's merciless. You want me to march into the lion's den and save your children? But I promise you, they're already dead. Excuse me, did you not hear anything I just said? They're gone. I know our plight is grim, but if there is even a chance to save them, we must take it. If our children are truly gone, then we ask for blood. I know you can understand that, Spawn. I suppose. Yes. 
Yes. Revenge, I can do. Thank you. From me and all my people. If you can do this, we will be in your debt. You have lived a life of violence and sin. You have stolen lives, broken families, and caused immeasurable grief. Doing this will not right those wrongs. <laughs> if you're trying to encourage me, you're failing abysmally. But it will be a start. You may still be redeemed. Please go. Time is stay, Hathran Rust. My friend from the Hag Swamp. You join us as we honor our fallen dead. You're a bright light on a dark day. Even you, my erstwhile quarry. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> hello again. Frey, Valdisk Durovna. Frey, Valdisk Ablast. I feel we're intruding, we should leave quickly. Calm yourself, you will not be harmed. Our leader has called off the hunt. She was just to speak to you. Im orak nete, netra. So, the impossible spawn walks among us in the blazing sun. We have been looking for you. The last time your friend came to our camp, he stole our children, our future. When I was hunting you, I was to bring you back here, interrogate you, discover how to save our children, and then destroy you. But things have changed. You have changed. Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that binds you to him? Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, kind of. It's a long story, honestly. Free. Not while his master still lives. But he has perhaps earned a second chance. We have tried to save our children once already, attacking Kazadorzar's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. But if his own spawn approached, someone he thought he could control, he would throw his doors open and welcome you in. And once inside, you could do what we could not. You could save the children you damned. You don't know Casador like I do. He's merciless. You want me to march into the lion's den and save your children? But I promise you, they're already dead. I spent 200 years bringing him victims. Each and every one was whisked away to be fed on that night. But you never saw him feed yourself. He could keep prisoners for days before killing them. God damn it. Fine. If nothing else, at least killing Casador will feel good. For those your friend stole from us, it is a matter of life and death. You're who? I c a shapeshifter. It could be anyone. I mean, it's not me, but it could be anyone else. It's not enough. We have a gallery of villains to look out for, but now we could be infiltrated by a shape changer. I can't even tell if any of you are acting strange because you've been replaced, or because this group is full of weirdos! <sighs> I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process then I'll be able to strike. <laughs> Neither will I, darling. At least I hope you'll come along for the show. But regardless, the plan is simple. Find him, stop him from gaining almighty power, and then really enjoy killing him. 
And if I can seize that almighty power for myself, well, all the better. It's something of a gamble, true, but if I can win, if I can beat him, it would be worth any risk. So yes, I do worry about facing him. But if we can get his attention, finding the ritual's location will be much easier, and that could give me the edge I need. It's something of a gamble, true, but if I can win, if I can beat him, it would be worth any risk. This city of storm and steel is an endless scream in nature's womb. I have felt no peace here. Your eyes, Stira. There is pain, endless and deep, but also devotion, blazing like the sun. You're in love. Are you not? You are wise to admit it. When it comes to love, vulnerability is armor. Truth, a sword, and trust, a shield. I pray you wield all three, Stira. Bring the one you love to me. I will look into your hearts and see if your love is eternal, or doomed eternally. Oh, my love, how could I say no? Close your eyes, little ones. Be still as stone to earth. And remember to breathe. Your bond is sweeter than nature's dew. I see you, know you, but do you know one another? A starian, a tumultuous past, hides behind the heart is fraught. So let us begin with the joyous. When is he happiest? <laughs> Guilty as charged. Sometimes, literally. Your bond beats in pleasure. It is an honor to behold. Many things delight the heart, but only one makes it sing. Tell me, what does he desire more than anything? You're not wrong, but do we need to tell every stranger we meet our business? Our touch has been that of sunlight. But now we must ask the deep, the difficult. Fear sits in the soul of all. To tame it, we must name it. Astarian, what is his deepest fear? Ha! Well, when you look this good... <laughs> well, you were right every time. I almost wish you hadn't been, but... Uh... You do know me. I press my finger to your bond and find a shield. Impenetrable. It is beautiful. Your love is one few have. Cherish it. Go in 
peace, seedlings. And know that you made one whose heart was long quiet beat with love and you. It's a grimace, sweetie. Not off to a great start. Your bond tears, but it does not break. Have hope. Oh, really? Of all the things you could think of, that. A st oh, you're very funny. Did I ever mention that? Well, that was a disaster. Can we call time on this farce, please? A pity. I thought your bond a mighty oak. Instead, it is kindling. A brush of fire shall make it crumble. But do not despair, seedlings. You are young. You will find love. It will simply not be with one another. Farewell. Excuse me! I've been happy! Thank you very much. I'm not right now, but whose fault is that? Oh, you're very sweet. I wouldn't say no some gory vengeance personally, but that was an adorable answer. Really? I mean, I mean, yes, but, but really? You just tell whatever stranger just walked up and asked? That which needs to be said is often the most difficult. Take pride. You are one step closer to conquering your fears. Oh, yes. Yes, please. Oh, I like that answer. Yes, let's go with that. I cannot, little one. I can accept truth and only truth. And you know that is not what lies within your hearts. I have to say, you know me better than I thought. I'll have to be more mysterious in future. Your bond is seedling. One that needs a gentle hand in its tending. Nurture it, and it will become a great oak in time. Your love is one few have. Cherish it. <laughs> Buddy the dog is my very best friend. Do you know why? Why? Because with him, anything is pausable. Way! Oh, good puns. Because clowns aren't enough of a horror already. Did you hear about the scarecrow who lost a fight? He got the stuff in, kicked out of him. Way! Oh, you're all such good friends. I've had a wonderful time, but I have to go. Aww. Oh, well, if you insist. <gasps> How about a magic trick? But first, I need a volunteer with nerves of steel and the heart of a lion. Who will it be? Who? The hair on the back of your neck raises as a shiver passes through you. You, my special assistant. Come on up. You've been here before, and you'll be here again. The clan is sizing you up. 
getting your measure. It's a trap, one that this clown is eager to spring. Come now, don't be a cowardly conny. Perhaps you need a little encouragement. Now, up, up, double sharp. Oh, poor Buddy here might think you don't like him. Oh, you hear that, Buddy? We've got ourselves a Debbie Downer. Boo! Thank you to the loud mouth for volunteering for my next trick. Now, where, oh, where? Ah, uh, you. The hair on the back of your neck raises as a shiver passes through you. You, my special assistant. Come on up. What? No, don't you dare. This isn't funny. Oh, my heart. The enthusiasm is... Too much! Now, up, up! Double sharp! Oh, poor Buddy will think you don't like him! Right there! Oh, perfect! <laughs> of course! What fun! I'm going to fucking kill you. as can be. Does anyone know why? Why? You're special, my friend, because I have a message just for you. Praise the Absolute. Ah! 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 Is this the well. plot of the show? The show? Praise. Trust me. You don't want to miss my signature Meadow Baranzan love trick. And is that your partner with you? What a gorgeous couple. Perhaps we could come to an agreement. <laughs> we want both of you, silly, at the same time. <clears throat> Sorry, Pat. I'm... I'm not quite comfortable with doing this again yet. Ugh, ugh, don't be so nice to me. It makes me want to be nice back. Couldn't get us off your mind, could you? Uh, I'd like to try doing things like this again. Now I'm free to find my own desires. And don't worry. I'll dart out if I don't enjoy it faster than I used to run from the sun. <laughs> Charming. There must be a sprinkling shower of gold first. <laughs> Coin. Let's go. This is thrilling. Quite the merry little party we have assembled here. Shall we? I hope you're not afraid of the dark, my darling. I must snuff out the lights before we begin. It's all part of the experience. The room is bathed in total darkness, so there is nothing to distract from your ecstasy. The lady, Nim, moves your hand to where the clasps of her blouse lie. All right, sweethearts. You dare to dance with a professional. You'll get your desire. His skin is like lusted pearls, almost translucent and so delicately smooth. He's so 
perfect. It could move even the toughest soul to tears. It's so easy to see why that body alone ruined so many lives. You're looking at me rather curiously. Speak up. Tell us what you want to do. I wish to drink and to be drunk. For this, I feel we should be paying you. <laughs> Me too. I wish to drink. Astarian lavishes attentions on everyone present with flawless technique, unfazed. It's all pure instinct, but when you meet his eye for a moment, there's a look about him that reveals he's a million realms away. I do not want to face the master if we're late for his black mass. Soon, sister. I only need one more mark. We have enough for the master. No more needed. It's not for the master, it's for me. I spent 100 years eating rats and dogs, but soon I'll be able to feast. I want someone there, ready for me. And once the mass is done and our Lord grants us freedom, I can celebrate by drinking them dry. Cazador promised you your freedom, and you believed him. Ha! You were never burdened with intelligence, Petras. But your load seems especially light these days. Astarian? It... It cannot be. Oh, that's no way to welcome back a brother, Dahl. Didn't you miss me? Why would you come back? You got out. You were free. Isn't it obvious, sister? He wants to ascend with the rest of us. He heard about the ritual and the power our master will grant us. So he came back with his tail between his legs, hoping all would be forgiven. <sighs> you always were an idiot, Petras. Is he hiding? Tell me! Brother! Please! Fine. You owe your wretched life to my friend. Now tell me what I need to know. The Master is preparing the Black Mass. Beneath his palace, there's a defiled chapel. It was hidden there the entire time. Hidden from us all. Do you really think you can stop him? I'm the only one who can. The sun can't harm me. Casador can't compel me. I don't need to fear him anymore. Now go, before I change my mind about roasting you, brother. This isn't over, Astarian. <laughs> Poor fools. They actually think Cazador will save them. Yes, and they'll be trembling in fear when they tell him. They're no threat to us. They have no choice but to do... Cazador's bidding. I pity them. Worst of all, they don't know their fate's already set. <laughs> They're doomed. The only question is whether their lives will be sacrificed to a monster like Cazador, or serve a greater purpose. Seven sigils on seven spawn. And Cazador has the other six. We have to face him, and take that power for ourselves. Well, yes, technically, only I will ascend and gain the ritual's power. But we're a team. 
If I become all-powerful, then we become all-powerful. We are a team, aren't we? You are still with me. Then you'll help me in this. <laughs> Nothing would make me happier. And now we know he's skulking beneath his palace. We can take the hunt to Cazador. All right, let's go. This place stinks of rat blood and despair. Promised you your freedom. And you believed him. Ha! You were never burdened with intelligence, Petras. But your load seems especially light these days. Astarian? It... It cannot be. Oh, that's no way to welcome back a brother, doll. <laughs> Didn't you miss me? Why would you come back? You got out. You were free. You, you can't mean that. He's playing mind games. He can't raise a hand to the master, let alone kill him. You have no idea what I can do. Is he hiding? Tell me! Ah! Ah! Brother! Please! <laughs> Tell me what I need to know, or I swear you'll burn! The Master is preparing the Black Mass beneath his palace. There's a defiled chapel. It was hidden there the entire time. Hidden from us all. I'm going to stop Cazador. What the hell's happened to you, Astarian? What are you? I'm more than what I was. And I'm not afraid of anything anymore. The sun can't harm me. Cazador can't compel me. I'm the only person who can stop him. Uh, you sound surprised. I am capable of doing the right thing from time to time. Uh, trust me, I'd rather slaughter someone else's family, but if that's what it takes, and it's not like their sweet innocence. They brought Cazador just as many victims as I did. <laughs> You're not getting sentimental, are you? I thought you were with me on this. Then we'll deal with it. It can't be worse than everything else we've faced. Of course that's why he came crawling back. He wants to ascend with the rest of us. You heard them. Tell me what I need to know. Now! The Master is preparing the Black Mass. They're no threat to us. And they have no choice but to do Cazador's bidding. I pity them. And spend every day looking over my shoulder, waiting for someone to grab me and drag me back to the shadows? No. I won't spend eternity as a fugitive. I need to end this. Besides, I'll need something to protect me from the sun if things don't work out with our parasite friends. This ritual could set me free. And you want what's best for me, surely. We'll figure it out. I need to know I can rely on you. <laughs> well, thank you, darling. But there's nothing to be afraid of. We're a team, after all. We are a team, aren't we? You are still with me. This is the first time in 200 years I've seen these streets in the sunlight. You can forget just how much color there is in the world. Hmm? Yes, of course. 
Obviously. Sorry, did you want something? Someone is here to disturb your rest. Get the hells away from me! Peace, brother. We're here to take you home. The Master needs all seven of us for the ceremony. Come with us and be reborn. We'll live again. Master Kazador has known where Astarian was this entire time. He knew he would return. The right. The Master needs him. He must attend. Oh, I'm well aware of what the Master needs. But don't we deserve better? Better? What do you mean, better? After all these centuries of torment, I know what you all want. More than power. More than to walk in the sun. You want to see him dead. The right of profane ascension will be mine. And he won't see a scrap of its glory. I am going to complete the ritual as the Ascendant, and then I am going to kill him! This is your chance. Stand with me. Name me your new master. We will get our revenge. And you will all live again. His liar's smile spells danger. He knows full well that his kin will die in the ritual, but if any of the bearers of the scar die before the ritual begins, he will lose his chance to perform the rite himself. He needs them to run willingly to their deaths, thinking they stand a chance against their master. Enough! Enough talk and enough lies. You were always weak, brother. We don't follow weak. This is our only chance to be free, to end centuries of slavery. You will not ruin it, Astarian. What a mess. Well, at least you've met my family now. was like. There was no way out. Once, in the first decade of my slavery, I found a darling boy who I couldn't bear to bring back to him, so I ran. Instead of hurting that sweet man, After Cazador caught me, the bastard sealed me, starving, inside a dusty tomb, all on my own for an entire year. A year of silence. Months of scratching my hands raw, trying to carve my way out. More months of not moving at all. Months wishing only for death. So don't you ever judge me for doing what Cazador ordered. Nothing can make up for that. Not even Cazador's death. <laughs> but to steal his life's work. <laughs> that might be something. Nothing can make up for that. 
Not even Cutador's death. No. He didn't. I am still here. And I will fight him until I fight my last. <laughs> and while repaying what he did to me is impossible, I am damn well going to steal that bastard's life work. I will become the Ascendant. The right. The Master needs him. He must attend. Oh, I'm well aware of what the Master needs. But don't we deserve better? Better? What do you mean, better? After all these centuries of torment, I know what you all want. More than power. More than to walk in the sun. You want to see him dead. You're free of him. Petros was right. You've changed. Maybe you could complete the ritual. Maybe you could free us. Perhaps we can get back at Cazador and finish the ritual. The Seven can unite and... Oh! No! Oh! The bonds hold. He owns us. We have no choice. We must obey. Get out of here, Astorian! Before! What does it matter? There's only six of them. And they are vampire spawn. We aren't like them. We are... better. Everything has changed. What matters now is that I can stand up to Cazador. He will be furious. <laughs> and he'll be even more furious when I get to that crypt and stop him. For what it's worth, thank you. No matter what happens down there, you helped me stand up against him. They stand a chance against their master. Don't look at me like that. With the sweet little disappointed I'm not getting cuddly Astarian pout. I can't take it. I can't be what you want to see in me. Die in the ritual? Whatsoever are you speaking of? We are going to cheat on death. The Master doesn't need to lie to us. He controls us. Fully. Why go through the trouble of giving us hope? Because it's more cruel. Shit, we're doomed. All right. What do you need from us? We'll help you. <laughs> he cannot, thanks to our wriggling friend. <laughs> Everything has changed. What matters now is that I can stand up to Cazador. We aren't like them. We are... better. No one ever looked out for me. No one ever said a kind thing to me. You're the only one. Other people don't have a heart like you. You're... You. No one is like that. <laughs> don't sell yourself so short. I'm doing this for you too, you know. 
to make sure we're both safe. Forever. For good. You say, as a mind flayer for all who spends their lives sorting out other people's problems. I'm home. There's the same fading carpet. The same tasteless art. Nothing's changed. But gods, everything feels different. It does feel strange. Breaking into your own home, especially if murder's on your mind. Then again, this is hardly the strangest thing we've done together. Although it could be the most satisfying. Well, the second most satisfying. Oh no, it's much worse than that. They're fanatics. Here of their own free will and utterly devoted to Cazador. Each one came to our door and begged to be given his eternal gift. They're sure he'll turn them if they serve him well enough. He'd almost feel sorry for the poor deluded souls. But they're idiots who brought this upon themselves, so don't. If my dear siblings were right, Cazador's hiding somewhere below the palace. After so many years, I would have spotted any secret tunnels out here. The only place that was off limits to us was his study. If the entrance is anywhere, it'll be there, through the ballroom. Oh, I've never been less sure of anything. But if I don't face him now, I never will. I'll spend the rest of my life running, watching the shadows, never feeling safe. No. This has to happen. Here and now. Also, there's a small matter of all that power I can steal from the bastard. So that'll be nice. Then ask. Quickly. I know you're there, Golly. Stop skulking and show yourself. You always were sharp, little one. Sharp enough to cut yourself. It's taking everything I have not to grind your rotten carcass to dust. Don't be mad at Cody, child. I only did my job. Only kept you in line. You tortured us. For days at a time. Oh, yes. And you sang so sweetly for me. None of the others screamed like you did. But you're home now, and you brought me a treat, eh? <laughs> a new friend for Godi. Not very nice. Not very friendly. Why are you here then, little one, if not to see Godi? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to kill Casador. How dare you? As if you could lay a finger on the master, you ungrateful little brat. Godi will not let you get away with blasphemy. Godi will see you punished! You can't be here. No one in, no one out. You're new. Cazador never kept guard dogs before. <sighs> the runaway spawn. <sighs> you reek of the master's scent. Come with us. Come to Master. Uh, excuse me. 
I will not be ordered around my own house by some blow-in mutt. <sighs> we bring you to him. We get his favor. We stand on a clean metal platform. A beautiful but antiquated elevator. There are some scuffs to show its age, signs of things dragged onto it over the years. But it seems to be in good working order. What in the hells? I never knew this was here. This was always Cazador's private quarters. Only he ever came in here. Well, him and the unfortunate souls we brought to feed him. This is all so... grand. To think, it was just sitting here, lurking under the floor. I don't know. It feels older than that. Who knows how old? But Cazador will want a grand space for his ascension. A venue like this feels perfect. Now we just need to see what lies at the heart of this place. Physical stink of decay and neglect. I don't even know what this prison is. He hid all of this from me. And the others. If I had to guess, I'd say they're part of his ritual. But where in the hells do they come from? You. I know you. You're the one from the tavern. You smiled and joked and got me drunk. You... No. You're dead. You called me so many sweet things. My name sounded like a lyric on your tongue. Sebastian. You remember me. You were handsome. Shy. You'd never been kissed. You taught me how. And then you destroyed me. It can't be. Beneath the dirt and blood, you notice that every prisoner has a rune carved into their flesh. Then they're bound to the Black Mass, too. Bound through the scars. Through me. I know these faces. Every one that shares my scar. They're my... conquests. I pursued them. Seduced them. And brought them to Cazador. He told us he was feeding on them, but he turned them to spawn. He turned every last one, so we'd have souls for this cursed ritual. How long? What? How long have I been down here? One hundred and seventy years. You were one of my first. My family. My friends. They're gone. You took them from me. You took everything from me. There's no helping us while that monster lives. That's why we're here. To destroy Cazador. 
You can't. It's not possible. His staff. It controls everything. But he never sets it down. You'll never get it. The Grand Chamber. Just ahead. But even if you can kill him, what then? What happens to us? I don't know. I... I just don't want to die. Whatever you do, just do it quickly. I can't go and wait. We'll be back. You have my word. Hey! Hey, you! Come closer. Oh, God! It can't be! It is you. I knew it. I'll kill you. Once I get out of here, I'll kill you! Camp! Monster hunters! The girl camp! Oh, God! My parents' camp! Uh, Chessa, focus! Resist the beast in inside you! Uh, you promised! Uh, it's your fault! You did this to us! Didn't he tell you? He's the one that kidnapped us! He's the reason we're spawns! Uh, I'll kill you! Uh, <laughs> yes, now that you um, <laughs> mention it, uh, I may have done that. I don't look at me like that. Casador's orders. <laughs> Quite the deviation from my usual routine, of course. Uh, capture, not lure. Uh, I didn't bring them in with sweet rolls or anything. I really forgot about them. Felt nothing the moment I handed them over to him. Huh. Parents? Y you've seen my parents? I miss them. I, I think. Or perhaps it's the hunger. Oh, I don't know. It's so hard to tell. You should go. Uh, leave us here. We shouldn't be out there. We'd hurt our families. Behind the exhaustion, starvation, and fear, recognition stirs in her eyes. And with it, hope. You... You really mean it? Uh, uh, Casador's got this staff. It controls the doors. If you get it, you can set everyone free. If you get it, somehow. Good luck. If you fail, well, I suppose we'll be seeing you again in here. I I'm hungry, Ugh, starved, and it's all because of him! I suppose there's a good chance they will. What use is it, though? They're lost. Ravenous. Feral. They'd attack any mortal on sight. All these people were ruined because of me. Parents? You've seen my parents? I don't think I'll ever be able to go home. Not like this. You should go. Leave us here. We shouldn't be out there. We'd hurt our families. Behind the exhaustion, starvation, and fear, recognition stirs in her eyes. And with it, hope. Please. Whatever you can do. What are you doing? They're going to tear me to shreds. They'd never forgive me for what I've done.
was in the prime of my life when I was turned. Everything was taken from me, too. I just... I never want to see these little scraps of misery again. The world doesn't need to know my shame. Of course I deserve it. But the countless others they'd feed from. I just... I never want to see these little scraps of misery again. The world doesn't need to know my shame. Maybe I am. Maybe that's what I have to do. I just... I never want to see these little scraps of misery again. I just... I never want to see these little scraps of misery again. I just... I never want to see these little scraps of misery again, again. How chivalrous of you. As if I need defending from these children. If I ever get out of here, you'll wish you died when you were bitten. Didn't he tell you? He's the one that kidnapped us. He's the reason we're spawns. Ugh. I'll kill you! Sebastian. I should have known what Casador was capable of. Ah, he's played us for such fools. And not just seven spawn to placate the devil. Seven spawn and seven thousand souls bound to them in blood. Everyone who ever trusted me enough to let down their guard, innocents, idiots. <laughs> And the unlucky. It doesn't matter. I will need to sacrifice them all if I want to perform the ritual. Thank you. Yes. This will all be over soon. It's just... sickening. Seeing them again. I don't know what else. What's the point? They're as good as dead. I thought they were dead. If they are unleashed, they will cause incredible carnage. They will be ravenous. They must die. Better they serve a purpose. Gods, I can't say you're wrong. I can only say I'm so glad we didn't meet then. I don't even want to think what would have happened to you. Many of them are petty criminals, street drunkards and brothel goers. But from time to time, there was a Sebastian. I would have killed you. We have to kill Casador. That has to come first. They're in a state far beyond anything that ever happened to me. Decades of hatred will have piled up inside of them. I, I can't even begin to imagine. We must find Casador. Must end. It should be. I don't want to be like them. They're pathetic. Horrible. They do not. That weakness in me is dead. It's dead! I have... A higher purpose. Don't hate me. I just did what I had to. I swear. I did what I had to. We must find Casador. This 
must end. They will. I know I won't. It's just sickening seeing them again. I don't know what else. Well, you clearly want to say something. I'm not sure. I've been weighing my options. On the one hand, they're the key to my unlocking eternal power and freedom. On the other, well, it's my fault they're here. Yes, it was Cazador's command. I had no choice, but it seems now I do. And what am I owed? What about the injustices I've suffered? Am I not entitled to anything? All that matters now is killing Cazador. I've earned that. If nothing else, we can deal with the prisoners when the time is right. After all, they're not going anywhere. That will very much depend on what happens once I face Cazador. But I have to find him before I can face him. So let's focus on that, shall we? I'm sure I will. <laughs> Whatever the hells that might be. I'm not sure. I've been weighing my options. You're right, I am. How could I not, after coming face to face with the ghosts of my past? <sighs> Actually, ghosts would have been preferable over starving vampire spawn. <sighs> but you're right. This isn't the time. Cazador is our objective. Nothing can distract me from that. Next. We find Cazador, and once we find him, well, let's hope fate is on our side. Who stands before us? Is this truly our prodigal son? Hm? Do not slouch before me, boy. Have you no respect for yourself? Look at you. Crawling back after abandoning your family. You should be begging our forgiveness. Forgiveness? You've never forgiven anything. Every mistake, every slip was punished. I strove for perfection in all things. Even those as imperfect as you. A pity you amounted to so little, despite my efforts. No! No. Fuck you. And fuck everything you've ever done to me! I will not speak to cattle. This is between me and the boy. You son of a bitch. You truly forgot my power. You truly thought our bond as creator and creation was all that stopped you from killing me? Hmm? Oh, you are weak, my child. You are a small, pathetic little boy who never amounted to anything. But today, you will finally do something worthwhile. You will burn, and I will ascend.
the cattle know about things of which they know nothing. This ritual is centuries in the making. <laughs> nothing shall stop it now. That's what you think, you son of a bitch. Have you fallen so far that this speaks for you? I don't need anyone to speak for me. No. You always had a gift for words. I fondly remember your empty boasting, your tired jokes, your endless prattle. No! Shut up! Do the cattle not know you, boy? Have they not seen your fits of temper? You son of a bitch. They told me you had changed. I dared not believe it. Oh, thankless child. Did I not bless you with our immortal gift? Did I not make you what you are? You son of a bitch. I have known you for two centuries. Have I not suffered enough? I won't let you do this. I won't let you win. But I've already won, my boy. All the pieces are in place. The ascension is in it. to usurp me, speak the words, and ascend in my place. Hm? The runes I carved into your flesh bind you and all 7,000 souls to the ritual. Complete it, and those bearing the scars will be sacrificed, you included. You are simply a means to an end. I made you to be Consumed. I am so much more than what you made me. I can do this, but I need your help. These people died years ago. Trust me on that. All that's left are feral spawn, desperate for blood. If we release them, how many people will they kill? Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. But if they die and I ascend, I won't have to rely on the parasite to walk in the sun. I'll be free. Truly, completely free. Isn't that what you want? the fear in his eyes, but also the hunger, the thick smell of blood in the air and the promise of power being so close is intoxicating to him. 
All he can see is the power of the ritual and the freedom that power brings. The freedom to do anything, to be anything. above enjoying this. that mean for us? It means you have a choice. You can hide here, living in the shadows like parasites. Or you could be more than what he made us to be. You can choose differently, of course. But the consequences are on your head. And what does it mean for them? Now that is a question. Casador's staff controlled everything during the ritual. If it controls the cells too, you could decide their fate. Some sacrifices just aren't worth it. No. She's right. The poor wretches in the cells are innocent. They shouldn't have to suffer just because I lured them here. someone to lead them. Take the tunnels into the Underdark. Find somewhere, well, not safe, but less perilous. What? No, we can't. Just try to keep them out of trouble. I think we're done here. Let's go. I need your eyes, in a manner of speaking. What do you think you are doing? I'm making what you made me. Use the parasite. Link your mind to mine. Through your eyes, I can see the scars on my back and copy them onto his. You would not dare! consumed, and all the power you've lusted after will be mine. At the cost of a lot of lives. It's not worth it, Astarian. Help me do this. Please. 
Your minds join and your two selves become one. You can feel the knife in your hand, see the scars on his back, and taste his hunger for power. Yes. Yes. I see it. What are you doing? Don't! Ah! Grateful child! Wretched child! Time to take your place. ache in my stomach. That hunger. It's gone. I'm free. I'm finally free! Oh! Oh, it feels delicious. I did. We did. Come on, let's get out of here. I have a brand new world to explore. What are you doing? No! Stop! <laughs> it's... It's gone. All that power... Let me! I was so close! I could have had it all! But you took everything from me! Casador won after all. I'll never escape the hell he built. And if I can't escape, then no one can. Not them. And 
certainly not you! Is it over? Yes. It's over. You can do whatever you want. As for those... wretches in the cells... If I don't get my freedom... Neither do they. <sighs> it's over. <laughs> I'm done with this. And I'm done with you. I would say good luck out there, but honestly... I hope you die, Scrooge. There's opportunity in it, too. You can hide here, living in the shadows like parasites. Or you could be more than what he made us to be. You can choose differently, of course. But the consequences are on your head. And what does it mean for them? Ah, now that is a question. Casador's staff controlled everything during the ritual. If it controls the cells too, you could decide their fate. You can't be serious! After everything, you'd just leave them here! up after Casador. I wash my hands of all of this. This place, this ritual, this these people. You can stay if you want, but I have a life and I intend to live it. Come on. Let's go. I I don't know. Your choice is a simple really. You can hide here, living in the shadows like parasites. Or you could be more than what he made us to be. And when they're dead, will you kill us too? We're not like those wretches, brother. We've spent lifetimes controlling our hunger. They're all but feral. I don't relish it any more than you do. But putting them to rest may be the kindest thing we can do.
It's done. Just like that. Gods help us. Astarian. Follow the tunnels to the Underdark. You'll be, well, not safe there, but in less peril. I think we're done here. Let's go. He's gone. After all these years, these centuries, it's really over. I'm not sure. I feel a little uh, numb. What I've lost. <laughs> what I've gained. It's all so much. And God, all those spawn. Free in the Underdark. I need some time, I think. I. Just to let it all sink in. <laughs> Let's just go. This place reeks of death, and I want to feel alive again. Do you think so? Because I'm not so sure. I just feel... numb. What I've lost. <laughs> what I've gained. It's all so much. Let's just go. I'm done. You need to hear me say this, but I'm so fucking proud of Astarian. He could have had it all, but he kept his soul instead. I wasn't sure he had it in him, but he's changed so much. Overcome so much darkness. Oh, I could smooch that pointy little face! So Astarian didn't fulfill his master's ambitions for himself. At least that means he's his own man. Though, I'm a little surprised he didn't covet those powers. One vampire, but released 7,000 of his spawn! Have you lost all sense? They were innocents. To kill them would have been an even greater crime. Uh, but if you do decide to go hunting them, know they include your children. They... Oh, they survived? Well, that depends on how you define survived, really. But they are free. They're making their way into the Underdark as we speak. This is... Difficult news. We will need to decide what it means. Thank you for what you have done. Slaying Cazador was a great justice. As for the rest, well, time will tell. A good thing back there. I won't dwell on the matter. I know that's not a sentiment you're accustomed to reveling in, but rest assured, your actions have spoken for themselves. I think a vampire can feel his hunger. Nothing else touches them. Not grief or mercy. Or any sense of what is just. Who knows? And there is often more ignorance than insight in what they say. Orion showed restraint where most others wouldn't. He might not appreciate the sentiment, but I'm proud of him. Astarian resisted the allure of Cazador's would-be powers, and I am glad of it. Whatever he would have gained, would have come at a great price. I should probably start getting used to the shadows again. Who knows how long I have left in the sun. No, I made the right choice. Although I do regret the options I had. Maybe never seeing the sun again is just the price of freedom. Less giving up, more 
reassessing what I want, what I really want. There's something I'd like to show you, if that's all right. Something out in the city. Something I haven't shown anyone else. This way. It's not far. Oh, I'm glad I still have the power to surprise you. Even if it's the only power I have left. Start getting used to the shadows again. Who knows how long I have left in the sun. <laughs> Maybe. But even if I could control it, it's a dangerous game. I'd spend every day waiting for something to go wrong, for the tadpole to find some new trick, reassert itself, make me a slave again. I think I do. Assuming we survive, of course, because a horrible death is always just around the corner with you. I know. Doesn't mean it stings any less. Maybe never seeing the sun again is just the price of freedom. I'll have to. But that doesn't mean I have to like it. There's... something I'd like to show you, if that's all right. Something out in the city. This way. It's not far. <laughs> I'll try to restrain myself if you do. Shall we? This way. It's not far. The graveyard is appropriately silent. There isn't a proverbial soul around. Two hundred years, and I never came back. Not since the night I woke up down there. I had to punch a hole in the coffin and claw my way through six feet of dirt. Then when I finally broke the surface, retching up dirt and congealed blood, Casador was waiting. From that day on, I was his. Until today. Maybe. But he did take it. There's almost nothing left of the person I was. Just a name on a rock. For nearly two centuries, I stalked the streets like a ghost. The person I was lay here, dead and buried. I need to figure out who I am. What I want. You. I want you. You were by my side through all of this. Through bloodlust and pain and misery. You were patient. You cared. You trusted me when that was an objectively stupid thing to do. I feel safe with you. Seen. And whatever the future holds for me, I don't want to lose that. Thank you. Well, I should probably fix this.
I've been dead in the ground for long enough. It's time to try living again. With everything that life has to offer. If a night of passion is on offer, I could be persuaded. You know, I didn't care for you when we first met, but I do now. Being with you is about more than lust or manipulating you into a tactical alliance. I love you. I love this. And I want it all. for a reason. <laughs> Exhilarating. Terrifying. Exhausting. I feel the same. <laughs> if it has, it might be for the best. Well, I should probably fix this. That's the question, isn't it? I didn't care for you when we first met. Enthusiasm is appreciated, but hopefully not. Oh, I hadn't forgotten. But with you here, I am, dare I say, optimistic about our chances. I will endeavor to please. If a night of passion is on offer, I could be persuaded. We don't have to rush into anything tonight. We might not have forever, but we do have all the time we need. Unless we die horribly tomorrow, which uh, is always a strong possibility. <laughs> um, come on, let's get back to camp. Who knows how long before the others go feral without us there to guide them. You know, I didn't care for you when we first met. I guess that depends on what your idea of a little fun is. If a night of passion is on offer, I could be persuaded. We don't have to rush into anything tonight. Uh, of course. That... That would mean a lot. It feels ridiculous to still be thinking about Tazador. He's gone. I'm here. I won. But I still keep reliving everything that happened. Playing it over and over in my mind. Uh, I have to hope so. And if not, at least there's only so much damage they can do in the Underdark. Ooh. 
but that first rush of freedom can be intoxicating. I didn't always make the best decisions when I first tasted it. They'll need guidance. They might, <laughs> but there'll be consequences if they do. The Underdark is not a um, forgiving place. <laughs> I suppose that's the less convenient side of freedom, having to live with the choices you made. Back at the ritual, all I could see was the power on offer and the safety it promised. I was so blinded by it, <laughs> just as Casador was. But you saw something in me, someone else I could be, someone who could break the cycle of power and terror that started <laughs> centuries ago. You saved me back there. I may not have appreciated it at the time, but I do now. Thank you. <laughs> Neither was I. Not until I sank the dagger into Casador's chest and the light went out of his eyes. I am, well, not happy with how things turned out. But this does feel right. When I look at my future, anything and everything feels possible now. And I get to share it with you as a partner. An equal. You saved me from myself and let me walk a new path where I can be free. Truly, honestly, free. This is a gift, you know. Thank you. I won't forget it. I hope so, because there'll be consequences if they can't. The Underdark is not a forgiving place. <laughs> so am I. As fun as all that power would have been, this feels more... me. <laughs> no, no. Um, much as I'd like to become a lord ruling over the Underdark's vampire spawn, we have unfinished business with the Mind Flayers. After that, uh, who knows? Everything that happened to those spawn is my fault, in a way. <laughs> I suppose that's the less convenient side of freedom, having to live with the choices you made. You did more than that. You believed in me. Believed I was enough. Just the way I am. <laughs> Invigorating. Terrifying. All of the above. <laughs> I'm still trying to understand it, really. I came so close to losing everything back there to losing myself. <laughs> You're not wrong. Casador left his mark on me in more ways than one. For a moment, I wanted to be just like him. I came so close to losing everything back there, to losing myself. Bale's hedging his bets with Mistra. I can't say I blame him. Who'd want to hold a power like the crown of Carthus in their hands just to hand it to someone else? I know what my decision would be, but we're all different, of course. Hope there's nothing troubling you, my dear. All right, let's talk. Who knows when we'll have another chance? Eh. <sighs> It would be nice not to have to rely on you as my great protector. But, well, I do appreciate the thought. 
Nothing special, of course. You're only the first person who I truly care for. <clears throat> Sweet ones. What have they done to you? I'm hungry, Father. I'm so hungry. It hurts, Father. The hunger. It never stops. Please, do you know of anything that can be done? I've been fighting it, but I think you're right. Better that than they start feeding off humans. I don't like getting caught between the Guild and the Zinterim. You always make enemies when you take sides in a struggle like that. And in this case, they're enemies we might not see coming until it's too late. The Blade of Frontiers is dead. Long live. The Blade of Avernus. I just hope he stays focused on battling infernal forces. The undead have it hard enough already. My silk, what are the chances? It's you. Ah, and the heart-stopping bloodsucker. I hope you've changed your mind. My neck is yours, any time. And I will keep refusing until the end of time. I'm done bowing to the whims of others. Never say never. Forgive the mess. Your blood is far more volatile than I'd anticipated. It's a breakthrough in the sanguine arts, the likes of which the world has never seen. The Grand Matriarch will have no choice but to restore House Ablodra after I present her with my research. But listen to me, rabbiting on about myself when I have you, the prize bleeder, on my very doorstep. If you'd come inside, we could discuss something far more exciting than drow politics. How I made him feel. What I propose goes well beyond such frivolities. We are talking about alchemical breakthroughs based on the blood that runs through your veins, my friend. I appreciate the thought, truly. But if this is something you want to look into, well, hearing her out won't kill us. Well, death never stopped me before. I don't know why it should now. Now, now, I do think that's enough. When you see what I've been working on, bygones will all be bygones. I assure you. Oh, she doesn't bother me that much. If anything, I pity her. Fie. Such cruel words. But never mind all that. I have tremendously exciting news. You see, it's your blood that caused the conflagration you just witnessed. Imagine. Just a look. And if we don't like what we see, we can always kill her later. Now, now, I do think that's enough. When you see what I've been working on, bygones will all be bygones. I assure you. Yes. That is, do follow me. Never better. Don't mind the mess. I've been doing fascinating things with your blood sample. Ah, a cozy little spot, isn't it? These four walls have witnessed greater alchemical triumphs than the keep of Erngarth Durand. And now that you're here, the crown jewel of my research is soon to be faceted. All you have to do is drink Formula Gruner. If that's her formula I can smell, it's even fouler than her blood. Oof, God's below. Well, yes, Formulae Arku through Fruag were spectacular failures, but Gruner, Gruner is different. Believe me. When you first entered this home, 
You saw the incredible latent power within your blood, exposed in all its nuances. Formula Gruner will unleash that power within you. Risky, but, um, safe. Say no. The only thing she's offering is pain. And I, I, I don't want to see you hurt. Oh, marvelous. I've never been so excited for anything in all my days. Just stand over there, far over there, and drink up. What are you doing? That had better go down the drain and not down your gullet. Lucy. For a walk. Would you like that? Mommy! Oh. Mommy! It's all right. It's all right, Vanra. We'll stay right here. Oh. My, my heavens, you lived! This is incredible! I'm seeing stars! You, my friend, have become something. Something I once thought beyond achievement. You are the world's first detonative exsanguinator. To put it simply, from this day on, your blood goes boom. Big boom. <laughs> it's incredible. All it needs is a spark. Certainly not. But it might do damage to anyone who makes you bleed without your express permission. Naturally, I always ask first. I'm civilized, unlike you. There are other necks available for biting, of course. If you were so inclined. What an odd question. Now, let me offer you a little treat. In exchange for the teensiest vial of your marvelous blood, I'll give you something that'll really throw your enemies for a loop. I'll only ask a nominal fee in exchange. Now, now, darling. Let's not be rude. She said no. You should learn the meaning of the word. My research will be quite worthless without proof. And my proof is running through your veins. I only need a tiny bit. Then, then my life will truly begin. Ah, oh, I so hoped it wouldn't come to this. But I can't let my prize experiment walk out that door. I'd hope to take a sample with your permission. But I can do without it. You really are a fine collaborator. I was expecting an all-powerful brain to have a lair that was a little, uh, flashier. Not immaculately designed or anything, just to have a sense of drama to it. Oh, as well as can be expected when facing down the end of the world. <laughs> I can't say for sure. <laughs> but we've come through a lot already. It would hardly do to fail now. <laughs> then we'd better make it count. We'd better survive this. Because I never want to stop doing that. I really thought the stones were going to work. 
Our options are getting slimmer and slimmer. So, we can't wield the stones unless one of us becomes an illithid. I hope you're not actually considering this. Oh, we still have other options. We could free the Gift Prince with the Orphic Hammer. Perhaps he'll have a bright idea. Just consider the alternatives before throwing away that uh, beautiful face of yours. A bold move. It's a gamble. But if we play this right, it could work well for us. All right. Let's see how this plays out. I'm fine with anything that keeps you from <laughs> transforming into a mind flare. Personally, I'd use the hammer and take our chances with Orpheus. I'm most willing to lose him. Uh, that is a risky move, but if you think it's the right one, all right. Let's see how this plays out. It seems I misjudged you. You were testing my honor. And in so doing, you have convinced me of yours. The Netherbrain wants nothing more than to see all infected become geek. My defenses keep the voice of the Absolute out. But just as I can raise them, so I can lower them. I will allow the voice of the Absolute in. Once it reaches you, it will order you to transform. It will only take a moment. And once you are a Mind Flayer, I will fold you under my protection once more. You will be the savior of empires. Not least, my own. With the withdrawal of Orpheus's power, your mind is rushed with the full force of the Netherbrain. You feel a compulsion unlike anything you've ever known. Excruciating and exhilarating in equal measure. You wish nothing in the world but to evolve. Then, complete silence, as you are once again closed off from the Netherbrain's mind. My people will remember you. The rebel Illithid who stood beside their reborn prince and ended the grand design. Let us return now to the city and follow the path of the Netherbrain. I think my last meal is Come. threatening to resurface. It's time for us to meet our fates and end this illithid nightmare. A most I think we're done here. I'll certainly be glad to see the back of it anyway. Rest still. All right. We can do this. We have to do this. I will not forget what you did here today. Nor will the Githyanki people. We have unchained the true bear. First, he will lead us to victory against the Netherbrain. Then, he will loose the Githyanki from Vlakit's undead talons. All right. We can do this. We have to do this. You always pick the most romantic spots to chat. We have lost much already, and we will lose more before the day is out. But even when the last soul falls, Baldur's Gate will stand. For Baldur's Gate is more than just a city. It is more than a place of opportunity for those of mercantile spirit. More than a place of refuge for those who are lost. More than a home for friends, loved ones, and adventuring souls. Baldur's Gate is a place where anyone can find what they need, if they're just willing to fight for it. Today, Baldur's Gate needs us. Today, we fight for... Your late friend? This is the one you spoke of. The very same. The champion we've been waiting for. The one who will save Baldur's Gate from ruin. The Fist examines your illithid ally with suspicion. He was not expecting the savior of Baldur's Gate to be accompanied by a mind flare. Appearances may change, 
but they do not mask the one within. This one, I know. Observe with whom it traveleth. Friends. This mind flare will fight with thee. It will save thy city and thy lives. The fist eyes your lithid ally with suspicion, softening to curiosity. His hostility melting at the recognition that there's more behind those eyes than malice. My steel is yours, and I'm not alone. You helped me once. I figured it's time I paid you back. With magic. I'm better at crafting steel than wielding it. Your friend here is armored and potion-fueled and ready for battle. I have marshaled the best the Flaming Fist has to offer. We will fight to the last. You've unexpected friends. <laughs> but my debt to you still stands. The Iron Hand Gnome's firepower is yours to command. Just show us where it's needed. The Moon Maiden's silver light is a shield in dark times. Today, it is mine to wield. And I hold her sword. Whatever strength I have to lend, I will lend it. I will make my city proud again. You carried me once, friend. And now, I'll carry you. <laughs> you can count on me, little rabbit. And your squiddy friend. I thirst for the hunt. I made some improvements to Ramazes' arcane artillery. Give the word and the sky falls on any who stand in your way. I'm in the mood to crack some skulls after that fuckery in the Temple of Baal. The City Watch will be glad to oblige me. Not sure what I have to offer a mind flare, if I'm honest. But I hope my words of encouragement and reassurance will strengthen your uh, resolve. The journey has been brutal. But I stand here a Hell Rider once more. And I would die a proud man if I died this day. I want my city back. And I've brought the toughest bastards from the guild to get the job done. My people have never hunted a monster this large. They are eager to join the fray. All the strength of the lands we healed flows through me. And from me to you. And whatever company you keep. Nature's servant awaits. Glad to have you with us. And not a moment too soon. The air is thick with anticipation. All eyes are on you. They're expecting a speech. Something to stir their hearts and put fire in their bellies for the fight ahead. Well said. We'll prepare ourselves. We'll be ready when you call upon us. Baldurin's grace be with you. Dreamed of walking these halls, you know. Uh, my dreams never included a giant brain or smoldering ruins, but I'll take what I can get. Get to the crown and cast a spell to dominate the brain. I can hold them here. Can't I? Get up! Powers. They're draining. Just like Mazora said they would. A small price to pay in the grand scheme of things. We did it. The nether brain is dead. The parasite. It's withered. Dead along with the nether brain. I am cleansed. I will never be a filthy geich. Only mild offense intended, of course. You did the unthinkable, and I'm grateful for it. Even when my time in the prison stretched out like eternity, when escape seemed impossible, I never lost hope. 
I knew that my destiny was to liberate my people, to return to them triumphant. I was wrong. It seems I can only fulfill one part of my destiny. My people will be liberated, but I cannot return to them. Not like this. You helped me destroy that abomination. Now help me destroy myself. You must kill me. But first, Lazel, I need your promise. Carry my hope. Carry my burden. Call my dragons, Kulos and Kuthos, and ride to the Astral Sea. Destroy Vlakith. Release our people. Be our future and our legacy. It will be done. I will never be free while my people are still bound by Vlakith's chains. Enough talk. Give me my freedom. Freedom from this form. I will not be Gake. I did what I did to save my people. The rest is up to them. Someone else must rise within the ranks to lead the revolution against Vlakith. Give me my freedom from this form. Release my soul to the Astral Seas, while I still have one to call my own. the one to lead my people, but I can still bear witness to their glory. I shall find a place for myself in a corner of these realms, for even in darkness, the stars of Tunarath will shine upon me. You were a worthy ally. The Githyanki will find they have a noble prince in Orpheus. If they do not slaughter him on sight, at least. The Githyanki are leaving. It would have been hard to imagine parting ways from them peacefully, once. With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. But it seems that Gale's mind is elsewhere. The crown. It's somewhere in the Giontha. If I salvage the stones... I can reforge it. The power of Carsus would be in my hands. But what then? What would I do with it once I have it? Wise suggestion. I felt a hubris once before and landed myself with this orb. They could rather not make the same mistake again. If this adventure has taught me anything, is that there are things in this world far more valuable than power. Besides, I'm growing quite fond of this merry band of ours, but I quite like to see what happens to it. I'm sure Mistra will summon me soon enough, but until then, I propose we celebrate our victory the mortal way with a drink in our hands and reckless abandon in our hearts. 
I am seldom one to imbibe, but even I shall make an exception on a day like today. <laughs> I think we have earned it, no? Very well. Perhaps after a drink or five, I'll be tempted to inflict some of my singing on you all. As if the city has not suffered enough. I honestly don't mind what we do once we get to the... Ow! Oh, no. Oh, God. Well, it was... It was nice when it lasted. Ah! I, I'm sorry. I... I have to go! He will sorely miss that freedom, I sense. It may be quite some time before we see him again. We did it, soldier. The city's going to be all right. And so are you. Engine's finally cooked. Held on just long enough. So, how'd I do? So are you, my friend, my companion. I adore you. allow this. Karlak, you're coming with me. Back to Avernus. We can't let her die. Not like this. Not now. It's over, and it's all because of you. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire, no death god's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. Damn it, Lily. I was just thinking about... freedom. How I'm... free of the parasite. Free of Cazador. How I'll never be in someone's power again. And all it cost was my life in the sun. <laughs> now I belong to the shadows. So, what happens next? You, do you think? 
think it's possible? I suppose there is a chance. And if there's a chance, no matter how small, I'm going to take it. <laughs> and it would mean setting off on another adventure together. Is that what you want? Is this what you want? I would understand if you wanted to go your own way. <sighs> Good. Because, selfless as I am, I really did not want to let you go. We are rather excellent together, you know. And united, there is nothing we can't do. I can't say what the future holds for us, but I know we'll be facing it together. And we're going to have a lot of fun. You... What? Now? After all this? How dare you? After all I've done for you? After everything I've sacrificed? But fine. If that's what you want, so be it. There are thousands of vampires spawn in the Underdark, just waiting for a leader. I'll find them. I wish you well out there. Just don't come knocking on my door. I'll have a lot of hungry mouths to feed. It is a pity. <sighs> we were rather good together. I'll never forget it. <clears throat> Goodbye, darling, and good luck. True, the spawn will need someone to lead them, otherwise they'll just be a murderous, blood-sucking horde. Although, <clears throat> I couldn't help but notice you said we should find them. Is that what you want? Is this what you want? I would understand if you wanted to go your own way. You... What? I didn't think you'd actually agree. How dare you! Uh, that does sound tediously boring. Although, if it's with you, maybe... <laughs> and I'm sure trouble would find us sooner or later. It always seems to. I just need to be sure. Is this what you want? I mean... This. I would understand if you wanted to go your own way. We are rather good together, aren't we? I never saw myself as a <laughs> hero. But fighting alongside you has been special. Maybe we could make a difference out there. Although, um, I do need to ask. Is that what you want? Is this what you want? I would understand if you wanted to go your own way. <sighs> Good. Because, selfless as I am, I really did not want to let you go. <laughs> it certainly is when you're around. We are rather excellent together, you know. And united, there is nothing we can't do. I can't say what the future holds for us, but I know we'll be facing it together. And we're going to have a lot of fun. Well, soldier, here we are. It worked. My engines calmed down. I shouldn't have let you come here. This isn't going to be easy, you know. Zarel's going to come at us with everything she's got. Gods, like clockwork. They'll be on us soon, but there's just enough time. <laughs> Thought I was done with these. But then, here we 
was you. Imps are fast, but careless. Don't let them tire you out, just get rid of them. And don't forget, you asked for this. Better let these fuckers know I'm back. And this time, I'm not alone.